Jahan Dotson, wide receiver, Penn State. Absolutely love his game. Love his intelligence. Spent a little time with him, and after I was done talking with him, I thought this kid could have been an Ivy League player. That's how he comes across. How about this comparison? Deontay Johnson, wide receiver, Pittsburgh Steelers. Again, it's a size comparison and a speed comparison, but also how they go about their business. Both can take the top off of a defense deep. They can challenge you all the way downfield, as well as running good slants inside, comeback routes, work their way to intermediate, catch the ball, and turn it into a bigger play. The one advantage Jahan Dotson has coming in, his hands are better. Some of the best hands, probably the best hands in this year's draft. Deontay Johnson has been working on his, trying to avoid the drops. He works on a tennis ball machine each and every day, trying to make his hands better. You know what Jahan Dotson does? He carries a football with him everywhere he goes. You'll be able to easily identify him. But good luck trying to knock that ball out of his hands. He doesn't let it go. Alabama's Fedarian Mathis reminds me a lot of Dalvin Tomlinson. Fedarian, who goes by Phil to his teammates, is the guy you want in your locker room because of those leadership qualities. He's respected by both coaches and teammates, and that leadership translates to the way he plays the game. He set career best with eight sacks and eight tackles for loss in 2021. And while he's not the physical specimen of his former Alabama teammate, Raquan Davis, he's a more complete player coming out of college. Mathis is stout at the point of attack, even against double teams, works hard to fight through blocks, and regularly finds himself in the backfield, either pressuring quarterbacks or disrupting the run game. He has a knack for shooting gaps with a combination of physicality and hand usage. He's a high motor player who not only makes plays near the line of scrimmage, but will sprint downfield to bring down the ball carrier. Mathis does so many things well, but he's not an explosive player and he'll sometimes struggle to disengage from blocks as a pass rusher. But those are minor concerns when compared to what he brings not only to the field, but to the locker room. North Carolina quarterback Sam Howe is an interesting player. He was really good in 2020, had a lot of weapons around him, had a good offensive line. But in 2021, he wasn't the same player, took a ton of hits. His eye level came down. He looked to be struggling a little bit with the pass rush. But there's still a lot of talent there. He's got a big arm. He's tough. He will stand in the pocket. And he reminds me of Baker Mayfield, tough. One of those guys that will stay on the field when you need him to uh, and will make the throws. He might be a player who's better on the next level than he was last year at North Carolina. Tulsa's Chris Paul reminds me a lot of Jamon Brown. He played primarily on the right side at right tackle in the last two seasons at Tulsa, but he also has experience at guard, and that ultimately may be where he ends up in the NFL. He has a solid base, shows good lateral mobility, and mirrors well in pass protection. He also does a good job of marrying his hands and feet, and that allows him to stay in balance versus pass rushers trying to gain the edge. He consistently sustains blocks in the run game, and defensive linemen routinely struggle to disengage from those blocks. That said, Paul can sometimes get over his toes in pass protection, and that gets him off balance, and he'll occasionally overset and be vulnerable to inside moves. He also struggles at time against low center of gravity or bendy edge rushers, and it's those undersized rushers that seem to give him the most trouble. That said, a move inside will mitigate some of these concerns, and Paul will be able to rely more on technique and power to win in the NFL. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.